If you're learning how to program and you want to use programming um, in, you know, for science, whether it's an undergraduate or a postgraduate, some kind of scientific research, this is a really good book, Effective Computation in Physics. It's by O'Reilly. Uh, and I'll just give you a quick rundown of what it does. So the, the, to start with, it takes you through using the terminal, which if you're not used to using the terminal and terminal commands, uh, it's really useful. Now, it doesn't go into great detail about the, the terminal and um, how to use it, but it gives you enough information to be able to start. And really, that sums this book up. It gives you enough information about everything to be able to do a reasonable job. So this um, takes you very quickly through Python, um, which is the language that the book uses, uh, and um, it talks about how to start programming in Python, it talks about lists, tuples, sets, dictionaries, containers, that kind of thing. And then it talks about flow control. So that's if uh, statements, if else statements and while loops and that kind of thing. Uh, and then it takes you through functions and then through classes and objects. So th it, th that's the first part. And then it looks at using what you've learned on uh, data and um, how to effectively manipulate data. Um, and then the, this chapter here, uh, chapter 8, is really useful on regular expressions, um, which can be a bit of a pain to get to grips with uh, in the beginning. Um, and then, of course, NumPy, which is the um, sort of maths module, um, which makes Python a bit like MATLAB. Uh, and then it goes through file types, and then how to import different data structures, and then parallel um, computing. Uh, what have we got here? Um, yes, and how to use it uh, in um, software, how to incorporate uh, Python into software, uh, you know, as, as part of a larger as a larger project. Um, and it, it sort of covers everything. We've got a bit here on version control. It really does cover pretty much everything you're likely to need um, in enough detail to be able to to do it um, at, a, at a fair, you know, at a basic level, but to do it well at that level, um, and uh, and then here uh, it, it takes it the, the, here is what you have at, at the end. So the last chapter, licenses, ownership, and copyright. So if I just sort of take you through what we've got here. So here, this is the command line, section on the command line. It talks about um, the commands that you can use in the command line and what they do. Uh, and, you know, all the things you're likely to need to do using the command line. Moving files and folders uh, and the most useful commands that you can use uh, at the command line. And then we move on to Python itself and how to use Python. And then we go over there, you see there are some commands. It talks about the various different uh, um, ways that Python works. It talks about strings, of course. And, uh, and then we've got uh, modules and how to import modules. So it really is for people that don't have any programming experience and it gets you up to a level where you will know enough to be able to program effectively um, do, you know, in your research, in your undergraduate, in your postgraduate. Um, and if you are already a, uh, a proficient programmer, you'd probably learn something, but I don't think this book is aimed at you if you are proficient. But um, if you're not yet proficient or you haven't started programming and you need to, then I would say that this book is exactly what you're looking for. And, you know, I bought this book before I knew how to program and... Um, it's a great reference as well. Uh, so I would suggest if you're new to programming and you're not proficient, 
then and, and, you, and you're looking to use programming um, as particularly Python, but but really any any programming language, but particularly Python. Um, if you're looking to use it in a sort of academic setting, then I would definitely recommend um, this book, Effective Computation in Physics. I hope that's helpful. If that has been helpful, do uh, consider subscribing. I'm going to be looking at other uh, books on um, programming and particularly Python in other videos. Um, thank you very much.